Hello everybody, fellow ninjas and ninjets and people of all shapes and sizes and flavors. Ha, can't even believe I just said that. So let's put some light on here so you can actually see what's going on, huh? So. I'm going to uh, I'm going to try to explain this real quick without taking up a ton of time, but essentially I've obviously been doing some things here and I'm going to try to explain what it is real quick. So I do this stuff in phases basically and what I mean by that is each section of the build is like a phase which has several stages usually and I basically just got through cutting templates which took all these tools right here and yeah I've got a big mess and you know um, I end up cleaning a lot of uh, my copper over and over and over and so I end up sitting here in the floor and you know trying not to make a big huge mess when I'm doing all this stuff because I do it all here in my bedroom floor but for now you know we're exiting out of this stage of the build and getting into a new stage and I'm actually going to end up cleaning all of these pieces again more than likely because of how they tend to age on me so quick um, because of how I build you know uh, to tend to take my time but essentially these tools are going to go back into toolbox and these tools are going to be what I'm starting to use next and the next step here so basically what I'm going to be doing is the and what I actually have done is uh, the glove that's sitting here is my current master build glove and it has some funky looking rivets sitting in it that's basically just holding it together but uh, you know I just now changed out the back plate and that was one of the things that I wanted to show because it was one of the things that changed is the back plate itself and it was one of the things I had some problems with and got you know we got sick of the problem so change the template out a little bit and there's not a whole lot of change but it's it's enough to do what I wanted it to do so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on there and you know this is still in the build phase so it's pretty fucking close man I've got all of the base bins in there now but there are still some final little tweaks and adjustments that have to be done and essentially I'm gonna have to put this and rivet it down and put it onto a test glove and really test the armature on the new plate to make sure that everything is working the way that I want it to and that's probably going to take a whole bunch of adjustments as well but essentially the old plate that I was using is this one here which is built off of my build plate which is this one here and you can tell it's kind of it's kind of had its fair share of being bent all the hell but you know that's just how I do this stuff so this is what I'm doing and the next step here is to utilize this stuff <clears throat> along with a few other things to start shaping out another set of templates which I have over here and you know it's a long process but essentially that's what I'm doing and uh, for the most part I was thinking about maybe making a video specifically about building phases and the different phases that I go through when I build this thing because you know it's pretty extensive to be honest um, the amount of stuff that I have to do in order to get one of these the way that I want it to be and most of it has to do with a ton of fucking testing and then of course I've been changing some things and you know just the normal stuff that all of us builders go through and uh, here you'll see I have a rubber mallet which I really don't use very much for hardly anything really <laughs> I 
but I do use it sometimes, but very rarely. Most of the time, I like using metal to metal, and you know, everything I have is really solid, so it helps to kind of make it a bit easier to conform things. But another thing that it does is it tends to harden the pieces as I'm building them, and uh, you know, by the time I've got them all shaped out over these bars, everything is really pretty work hardened because the copper that I buy is pretty hard anyway as soon as I buy it so by the time I get through beating it around on several different stages of shaping blunt force shaping which I'll get into soon because that's the next stage of what we're going to be doing but by the time I get through the pieces of copper are very very hard and I don't anneal it because essentially that's the way that I want it so you know all of what we're looking at here has been heavily tempered and uh, you know what that means is basically I've beat the crap out of it and you can't tell mostly because of the way that I do it a lot of it has to do with you know what tools I use when but I wanted to show you this stuff simply because, you know, I've been working and obviously I haven't been showing you what I've been doing because it's kind of something that's still in progress. So everything that we're looking at here is still in the middle of being worked on. And, uh, you know, it probably will be for a while. And it's, uh, you know, it's a ton of work and it's a pain in the ass, just like it always is. But it's something that I enjoy doing and it's something that I enjoy sharing with you guys because I know that you know not enough builders as I've stated once before really show their work in process when it's you know being made and in this process once again I'm gonna try to help throw out some tips for some of the builders that are new out there who might need a little bit of help in learning how to go about building one of these things so that's basically it just wanted you guys to see what I was doing here and catch you up with this whole thing and with that I'm gonna go ahead and cut this short because you know how I am and I could keep on going for at least another 25 minutes so better go ahead and end it here but I do want to thank you all for watching stay tuned because the best stuff is definitely yet to come so hope you've enjoyed it and this is Michael T. Cecil signing off bye bye